poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the Force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. all set up super sweet like tonight at the red dirt talk to carrie didn't change his mind or anything no no not at all he's pretty stoked in fact haven't seen him like this since the silver hand days what about henry still not on board <sighs> didn't even try not wasting my breath on that dick tip well so see you tonight and don't worry about your axe got the gear all rounded up Iris Tanner, I'm supposed to get you out of here. They didn't hurt you. No, we were still in the negotiation phase. They made a pretty solid case, so it was only a matter of time. Push came to shove, I'd rather slave under Raffin than be chopped into little pieces. We best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast, either. 
Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about fixers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. I prefer lining up my own clients, playing by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard-earned cash. So I take it this is an exception? And the last, hopefully. my sister. Dakota. Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. Well, don't you two just get along perfectly? Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. Yes? Talk to me.
job. Oh, sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. For falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. And what happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me, partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street, total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect, a tug at my heartstrings. What'd you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him, seen him play. And? He any good? He's fine, just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time, just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with him. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? Have fun. From Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake in under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, right? Fuck you. And missed you too. All right, let's do this.
fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here, take it as a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here, but I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Helloprim. <laughs> Samurai's found its new groove. Damn shame I had to miss it. Eh, you can still come to my show. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad Care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. 
A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Fuck this country. No, no, I hit it too hard. It was fine. Great. Axe went out of tune after chipping in. No worries. Can't hear the bass anyway. You were great. Oh, first time I ever heard that at a gig. Thanks. Have a good time. Hell yeah, Carrie even said I'm gonna see some Eddies. just wanted to catch up. The former. Found your job posting about Swedenborg Riviera on the net. Oh, that. <laughs> wow. I completely forgot about that whole thing. So, is it still going? I mean, I still want to scroll a segment about it, so if you can find anything at all on Swedenborg, I'll pay you back in black caviar and champagne. But I doubt you'll find anything new. What have you managed to dig up so far? Short story? Fuck all. Mm. And the long story? Well, it looks like Swedenborg Riviera isn't just a radical philosopher and economist, but a damn good net runner too. Jack of all trades. Could you tell me more? I could, but uh, it'd be a waste of your time. I'm telling you, the guy's a ghost. Can't hurt to try, right? Well, aren't you just bursting with a can-do attitude? Have it your way, then. I started looking into all this about a year ago, right after one of Swedenborg's followers lobbed a Molotov into the Helvetia branch. Tried finding some way to reach the guy, came up blank. Total brick wall. Hired a private eye, also came up with squat. And the IP linked to the account? He would have used cloaking daemons, but there's always a mark, a trace. Well, well, I didn't know I was dealing with such a pro here. Guess what? I tried that. I managed to pinpoint the SIG to Santo Domingo, but linking it to any specific address was a non-starter. Districts jam-packed with units, as I'm sure you know. Add some locals if anyone saw or heard anything, cash in hand. Zilch. Nada. Dried up all my leads. Got it. Listen, send me the coordinates of the last data term that relayed the signal, okay? I'll take a look. Worst case, I'll lose an hour of my life. Best case, well, who knows? Hey, if you're offering, why not? But seriously, V, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Happy hunting.
Why this obsession with Sweden, fuck? Hoping once you find him, he'll spill the meaning of life? Here, I'll save you the trouble. Life makes no sense. Now with you in my head, agreed. Now how about some quiet time? Can't think. You stopped thinking long before I got here. But sure, blame it all on the guy in your head. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, shh. You need to look around. Think this is our Swedes doing? Only one way to find out. Sig's a match with what Nancy was tracking, and goes further, out to the Badlands, like a server proxy. Don't tell me that's where we're heading Why shouldn't next. shouldn't we? Cause this is all one big waste of time. The fuck do you care about a Borg fucking Swede? He rubs out sayings like a randy teenager and the whole world's guzzling it up. The three branches of government is a lobotomy on the people's autonomy. I mean, what the fuck? Oh. I get what's going on here. You're jealous. Jealous? About this shit, Swede? You out of your fucking mind? Mm hmm Cause he's the one all the anarchists and fist pumpers are quoting while you played in piss-soaked dives for a bunch of stone zit faces. Don't talk shit about what you don't know. Happy fucking trails. Signal leads here and, and disappears again.
Another router. Sounds like this Swedenborg really values his privacy. Oh, thought you were done talking to me. I was. But it's not like I got anyone else to talk to. I'd go through your memories, but I don't want to puke all over your hippocampus. Well, hack away or whatever it is you were gonna do. Please, something happened. Signal keeps going to another terminal. Ha! I've got a feeling someone's messing with you, V. You'll follow this breadcrumb trail, and when you connect the dots, all you'll see is a dick. Oh, I'm sure you'd love that, wouldn't you? Fucking A, I would. That cock would be the first thing Swedenborg did that actually made any sense. Except he'd probably give it some pretentious name. Like, patriarchal phallus upholding toxic masculinity. What do you think? I think it's time we moved on.
Look, get far enough from the smell, even Night City can be beautiful. Fuck. Let me guess, another router? My dick theory starting to seem like a real possibility. And signal leads to another place? Yep. Hey, maybe this is all part of Swedenborg's message. Life is movement. Fuck the destination. It's how you get there that counts. Well, there's some truth to that. Jesus, V, this is philosophy for the hoi polloi. Have you ever read a book in your life? You know what? Don't answer. I don't want to know. So where's this next lead get us? A yoga class? A Tibetan monastery? No. To... To an amusement park. Oh. The plot thickens.
trail cuts off here. So what, asshole hiding here someplace? Oh, maybe. Or maybe we get to another terminal. I have to see. Funny area, this. Kind of complements our guy's style, doesn't it? How? This theme park another parody of capitalism run amok? Cheap entertainment for brain-dead gonks, that's how. Capital is the blood of the global system of oppression. Money is a tool used by the colonial oppressors of our minds. Class division is the breeding ground of anarchy. Wait, what the hell is this? What it looks like. Swedenborg Riviera. Ha! Come one, come all for the profit of Night City. Ha! Oh, that's too good. A wind-up philosopher in a box. Hand me a couple of eddies. See what he cranks out next. You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Success is the delusion of the soul. Your luck shall turn around when the means of production will flow on an endless stream of endorphins. You scrolling this? Well, we need to save these for posterity's sake. Ha! The means of production should belong to the collective unconscious. You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Capital is the blood of the global system of oppression. How is this even possible? Not a fucking clue. But Jesus, V, how beautiful is this? Half the net's getting tweaked on wisdom from a puppet in a glass case. Hairs are being split. Spit is flying over interpretations. Oh, man. Let me tell you, 50 years of soul prison was worth it for this moment right here. Uh, need to take a look. Somebody must have tampered with this thing. <laughs> Seriously? What, you think you're gonna find a jack-in-a-box who wants to become a real boy? <laughs> Look, someone hooked Swedenborg up to the net. What are you waiting for? Let's see what secrets are flowing in those cables. Okay, so if I'm getting this right, someone hacked into this fortune teller bot, rejigged its algorithm to spew out anti-establishment aphorisms instead of prophecies. And then hooked it up to the net through a system of routers that masks the signal origin. Pure fucking genius. Can we find whoever did this? I need to shake their hand. <sighs> Unlikely for two reasons. First, they didn't leave a trace. Second, you're dead, Johnny. Oh, right. When I get in a good mood, I forget that. Hey, V, don't turn it off, huh? You can get your own premium souvenir. 
Hold on. I've got a better idea. Let your thoughts dance the lofty rumba while accompanied to a joyful accordion. What the? Ha! Huh. What all his fans think. Oh, man. I know you and I don't always click, V, but I've got to say, you've got your perks. Fox cops are gathering data from the cesspit of the financial merry-go-round. Become the obese narwhal in heat amidst the blazing ice. Success is the delusion of the soul. Remember, there's no need to be afraid of sharks. The last whale shark died. The means of ah, production hey. should be lost to the collective. You called to tell me you're done bashing your head against the wall? Well, not exactly. We found something. We? Someone with you? No. Uh, no, I, I meant the, the royal we. So, about Swedenborg. It's all a big hoax. Say what now? It's an automated fortune teller. Strings words into deep-sounding mumbo-jumbo. Someone jacked it into the net. Probably laughing from his chair. Shit, me! This, this, oh, this story's even better than I thought. I'll take it from here. Oh, your, uh, your Eddie's on their way now. Thanks. Bye. Spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Me. Hey, hey back off. Hey, you're busy here. Bar. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, come on, Pedro. That was that was that. Yo, fuck you! Carajo! Fucking punk! Well, what what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beat. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, Pete. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, 
You wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. Damn sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay. Fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. <laughs>